Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It's gonna be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series I post on Wednesdays where I talk over all of the new makeup releases and talk about what I'm planning to purchase and what I'm planning to pass on. I always link my playlist down below as well as my community playlist that I started for the series. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, welcome. Welcome, welcome to a new week. I, I usually start off these videos by saying welcome to a new week because it's usually the first video of the week that I'm filming. So that's why I usually start that way. But let me show you my Vegas OOTD today. So today we just have this dress on, just like a little gray dress is all. I like these like little thin straps here. I think that's fun. But yeah, I just got this off of Laura's Boutique. It just looked really like comfortable and casual, but you could like dress it up with like, I have some gold jewelry on from Ana Luisa. So yeah, um, I'm filming this on Tuesday and we have a birthday dinner for one of the girls that lives here at the complex tonight. So we're just going out to have some dinner and watch some hockey. The Vegas Knights are on again tonight. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, that's my OOTD. So I also wanted to say, I did some filming on this look here for my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. I did one video on the eye look, which is using the new Patrick Ta palette. And then I did one video using the Makeup by Mario products. If you didn't catch my video yesterday, you just should. <laughs> because <laughs> I've been sitting here laughing at the comments the entire day because it's just such a hot mess of a video, but somehow it worked out in the end. I had the hardest time with the Makeup by Mario products and I was so upset about it. And I was like freaking out because I was filming a trying new makeup on Friday and I had plans within like two hours of filming the video. And I was like, what, what what's going on? And uh, it was just kind of rough. And then I also had some of my classic one-liners in there that I, people were really, quite enjoying but it was mostly the makeup by mario products and so many people are like i'm just enjoying this so much watching something so relatable happen like you know sometimes we just don't get along the best with makeup products or we use them in a way that maybe it's not best to be used and then we have to like figure out how to fix it like the amount of comments i got of people being like i'm crying laughing watching this and i'm like i'm so glad <laughs> i'm so glad i could entertain you so if you haven't seen it you really should watch it but i wanted to give those products you know another obviously another shot you know of course i try everything multiple times so i tried it today and i used the fenty ease drop instead of the new tarte foundation which i really liked in the video but people were saying maybe the tarte and the mario products are not meshing well so i wanted to use something different and instead of applying them directly on my face and blending out with a brush i picked them up um with a, a damp sponge and applied them that way and i felt like the effect was much better like i'm much happier right now so you know we just we just have to try things certain ways and see what works best for them but if you want to see those they're both going to be going up on my instagram march beauty word and okay i think that's everything that i have to say so i'm just going to go ahead and scoot over a little bit so i can add in some photos and let's start off with the product that i got tagged on the absolute most and sometimes i just I don't know how to explain this to y'all, but some I just feel like I'm in a good mood often, like most days. I feel like I'm just in a good mood and I feel like kind of my like silliness factor came back. I'm someone who I like to think I don't take life super seriously. I like to have fun. I like to make jokes. I think of myself as a funny person and I like to make people smile and <laughs> I don't know, it's fun for me. I feel like I lost it for a bit. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I lost <laughs> some reasons to smile and laugh for a bit but they're coming back and uh so i was just having so much fun reading the comments that were coming in on this new elf bronzer and responding to some of them and i was like putting them on my instagram stories if you don't follow me on instagram you really should but you should really follow me for my stories my feed is like it's okay like it's my feed i try to make it professional ish and like show you things my stories is like where it's at <laughs> like that's where i post my personality and i was just having a good time with some of the replies i was sending to people <laughs> on this new uh, elf release a new addition to the putty family the putty bronzers i'm reading off of trend mood one i will link any accounts that i read from in my description box as usual so this is a putty to powder formula with a semi-matte finish to give a natural sun-kissed glow. These are going to be uh, $6 each and in eight shades. 
so yeah I was real excited about this um real real excited about this I, I feel like the shape range looks really nice I know it says only eight shades but from the photo that I'm seeing you know I tried to take a minute because there's so many in this photo I was like okay take a minute to be like oh okay this is the ones but I feel like the range looks really really well on this one which is freaking awesome I'm super into cream products right now we had a little bit of a scare in yesterday's video, but I, I'm feeling more confident again. I watched one of Sam Ravindahl's videos today, you know, trying to let the actual cream queen, <laughs> trying to let the actual queen of cream makeup uh, teach me some more things. So, you know, I felt good about that. I felt good about that. And then we had a better, better time with the makeup by Mario. So I'm definitely very interested in this. Um, I did get a shipping notification from elf that they were sending me a package and it said like putty putty package on there so i'm assuming they're sending along some of the bronzers which would be so so awesome it did go to my old address i know some people i, I mentioned recently that i've been having some some issues with my pr and people were saying is it going to your old place and like can you reroute it um mitch is still at the old house so he is being very kind and sending me along any of the pr packages that do come my way which is great so he will be sending me out the elf package if for some reason it doesn't turn out to be the bronzers then i'm just gonna buy them because i would really like to try them the only thing that kind of has me worried is i really don't like the elf putty blushes <laughs> i like the putty primer just fine i did not like the blushes uh, i felt like they were harder to blend i felt like they would pick up my foundation so i'm like excited about these because they're elf they're six dollars cream bronzer like i'm excited about that but I'm actually also a little bit worried that I'm not going to love them. But I'm going to try them out. I will be trying them out. Let's see. What shall we talk about next? I feel like we have. there's a lot of uh, new eyeshadow palettes coming out. Including this one from M Cosmetics. Got me a little excited actually. This is the Venetian Rose by M Cosmetics. I've seen quite a few people requesting I go to the Venetian for my next shop with me at Sephora and I need to make a few repurchases actually so I've been thinking about popping in there sometime soon so we might have another shop with me coming up here soon but uh, I would be going to yeah the Venetian which I went over the weekend so beautiful so beautiful anyways M Cosmetics eyeshadow palette uh, this is the Divine Skies, an elegant mosaic of shades inspired by the romantic city of Venice, Italy. Uh, this is going to be $40, available June 24th on the website. I really do like the colors in here. I think it's really pretty. I've been wanting to try M Cosmetics. I've been saying this for such a freaking long time. There's a handful of products from the brand that I really want to test out, and I think the time just needs to happen <laughs> to where I make a purchase from them. I think $40 is kind of expensive, but I like I, like I like all the shades. I believe that I would use all of the shades in here. So I'm kind of leaning towards that one Let me know would you be interested in a video like testing out M cosmetics or maybe some other ooh, maybe some other indie brands I could do that is M cosmetics considered an indie brand. I think so. I could be wrong though color pop We have a new collection. This is the lush life collection inspired by the tropics so we have an eyeshadow palette for 18 there's three luxe glosses for eight dollars each there's some new cheek dew serums for seven new gel liners for seven will be available june 24th all right this is cute i like it um you know i did a video recently ranking all of the eyeshadow palettes i've tried so far in 2021 and i had a lot of color pop towards the bottom of my list like ones that i wasn't so interested in and i was just saying i was even talking to to angie about it today over marco polo she was like did you get the color pop barbie collection and i was like yeah but i was like i just there's so many new things from ColourPop to try it's just it's really hard to keep up and i know that probably sounds like really ridiculous but it's part of my job is like trying out new makeup and trying to review things and tell you what i think is worth it and who i think it's worth it for and sometimes it's just it gets to be a lot especially when you have a brand coming out with just so many new products and it feels like I, I want to review everything like I want to try to be as helpful as I can but it's it's obviously just like not possible um so while I, I like the the looks of it I don't know I can't say I was like yes like that is one that I'm absolutely gravitating towards because I just I think I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed by ColourPop at the moment so um, I really like the packaging on it though. It kind of reminds me of a, a dress that I have. That's one of like my favorite dresses. <laughs> um, so that's cute. I, I like the, the cheek dew serums. 
the serum blushes i have a handful of them though so i don't think i would absolutely like need anything from this collection also their eyeliners are really good that dark green looks like a really nice eyeliner but i think i'm pretty stocked up on on my eyeliners so I don't feel like I would have to grab anything from this collection. This is a new Trend Mood box that is coming out, and this is a takeover box with Nabla Cosmetics. So this is going to be available June 23rd, and it includes the new Cutie Collection. going to be available for $44, so you would go to the Trend Mood box uh, website and purchase it. It's like a one-time, it's a one, I was going to say one-time subscription. No, Samantha. It's just like a one-time checkout shopping thing if you want this box in particular but we have two cutie palettes these are with six full-size shades uh, with luminous and multi-dimensional finishes uh let's see the cutie palette midnight and the cutie palette analog and then also so those are new and then also in the box we have three cupids arrow a multi-use stylo pencil with long-lasting pigmented rich and creamy texture then there's also the viper lip plumper and uh, a body glow or the max relax so i don't know if you get to pick um, or if it just kind of like depends. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but so those are fun So we have the new eyeshadow palettes in here. I do like novel cosmetics. I do like their their eyeshadow formula I don't know if I would say it's like a top top favorite of mine, but I still think that it's pretty good I really like I'm hoping that you can't see the bruises on my arm in this video <laughs> trying to work out um, I mentioned in my video from yesterday that I had friends from Iowa coming to visit I don't think I mentioned that they were all in their young 20s and I tried to pretend like I was also in my young 20s while they were here this weekend in Vegas for their first time and um it didn't really work out so well for me <laughs> so I quickly quickly got reminded that I'm actually 34 but I think they had a great time so that's that, that's really all that counts but I'm like oh no I just feel like they're so nasty looking but uh Vegas Vegas got me. <laughs> but going back to the eyeshadow palettes, I don't know if I would need either. You know, I just got the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palettes are not real, real high on my list. Yet for some reason, the one from M Cosmetics is kind of calling to me. So I'm thinking about making that purchase. So I don't think I would need anything. And then for the actual box, um, I do have the Viper uh, Lip Plumper and I do have some of those Cupid Arrows too. And then I have some of these smaller palettes from Nabla. So I just, I don't think that I would particularly need to purchase this one myself, but looks like a fun box. I have some new palettes coming out from BH Cosmetics and they are coming out with more in their travel series. So new taking us to new destinations, we have three palettes for $17 each. We have Passion in Paris, Party in Puerto Rico, and Tand in Tulum. I would like to go to all of those places. That would just just great. Um, Tandon Tulum is a six pan face palette and then the Paris and Puerto Rico are 16 shade eyeshadow palettes. Okay. These look very fun. The face palette, I don't think I would need so much. Um, and then for the actual eyeshadow palettes, I am hearing really good things about BH. I tried, um, tried out their Chillin' in Chicago palette recently and I felt like it was really good quality. I think, what is the one? I can't tell which one it is that I think that I would like. Is that the Paris one maybe? That has like, yeah, the Paris. It has like the purple and um, some of those blue and neutrals. Like that one looks really pretty. I just, it's just one of those things of like, I don't know if I need it right now because I don't know how much I would use it. But I like the looks of it. But I probably don't need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. From Laura Lee, Los Angeles. This is a new collection, the Candy Skies. So we have an eyeshadow palette for $45, also two glosses, and the full bundle is going to be $59, and it looks like it is going to be available now. All right, so we have a little bit more like pastels in here. I haven't tried anything from Laura Lee Los Angeles yet. I like some of the colors and some of those like shimmers, like cloudy, that like purple color, like those look really, really pretty. Again, just I feel like I'm kind of a broken record when it comes to palettes. Like I just, I don't feel like I would get a ton of use out of them right now. So probably best to pass on that one. Uh, let's see, there is a new collection coming from Dose of Colors, and this is a collaboration with Disney, and in particular, or yeah, specifically, with Donald Duck and Daisy Duck. So we have an eyeshadow palette and also an eyeshadow and bronzer palette for $39. There's lashes for $15. There's a uh, Velvet Mousse lipstick for $18, and the lip gloss for $17. Give me that lip liner for 14 or the full collection is 103 will be available on june 23rd okay so i haven't like 
Dose of Colors hasn't really been coming out with too much recently. I think their last release was a collection with Nima Tang, which is really exciting to see. And then now we have this one. They've done quite a few Disney collabs also. So I'm just, I guess I'm not really sure like the direction that Dose of Colors is going in these days. But for the palette, I don't know. We only have that one bronzer shade, which I mean, I guess you could put it, you know, in the crease. I, I don't mind using bronzers as an eyeshadow too, but it didn't really call my attention. Um... The lip products, the lashes, I don't know, I just can't say it really turned my head. I, I'm not like a huge, huge Disney fan or like Donald or Daisy Duck fan by any means, but it's cute. I'm sure there's going to be people that like it, but probably just, just not for me. I see a new brand that's coming out. This is Otura Beauty by Sananas, and I probably pronounced all of that wrong, so please forgive me. Um, Otura is the name of the first Amazon Warrior Queen to highlight and support to highlight support between strong women that's amazing um so we have the beginning palette the game changing eye primer a pillow puff the 4k sponge and face brushes so the prices look to be like the palette around 50 euros um 19 for the primers the sponge 13 face brushes 14 to 28 okay um, so I think this is, yeah, this is available now. So I, I like the, the concept behind that. The actual eyeshadow palette, like I get like the branding and everything. I usually, I'm not someone who gets like really like about, um, I don't know, just like different looking palettes or pan shades or things like that. But I don't know how much I would love this particular layout. Um, the colors don't totally scream towards me. Probably don't need an eye primer. Um, I don't, the sponge is kind of fun though. I mean, I'm always down for like a fun sponge, a fun sponge. I'm always down for a fun sponge. The brushes look nice too, but pro I, maybe I'll see some reviews on it and, and see what people are thinking, but uh, I don't think that I would need it right now. And then from Bobbi Brown, I see new face and cheek palette. So we have a trio with a bronzing powder, illuminating bronzing powder, and blush. So basically a matte powder, a shimmer, no, I'm sorry, a matte bronzer, a shimmer bronzer, and a blush. For $48, there's a light, medium, and deep. Okay, I'm glad to see, I'm glad to see that there's different ranges, but I guess, I don't, I don't know, some of them, I feel like I could probably get away with wearing all three of them, so that just, when that happens, there's just like not a lot of range happening, and you, you know, I wish there was like a little bit more range in there, but uh, okay, I'll, Probably not something that I, I need right now though. So I could easily pass on that. And then let's see, what else do we have from KKW Beauty? This caught my attention right away because I was like, oh wait, what is this? This is uh, the Lip Lacquer Pot. So I was thinking maybe it was like a cream shadow or something, but this is actually for the lips. New decadent coconut and vanilla flavored lip lacquer for smooth, creamy texture. Uh, these are going to be $18 each. There's also a lip brush for $18, or you can buy a pot and a lip brush for $32. Full collection for $80 will be available on June 25th. Okay, so yeah, I got excited when I was thinking maybe it was like an eye product or something like that. Maybe you can use them on the eyes. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it might be kind of maybe sticky if it's meant for the lips. I don't, don't quote me. Um, for the lips, though, I don't think that I would need it. I haven't, I, I just, I don't... Maybe I would end up really liking it just because I, I, my makeup preferences have changed so much. I do have one of the Sigma lip oils on today. Not this one. I have the one on in tint. This one is in tranquil. Um, I have the one on in tint, but I've been really liking the Sigma lip oils, which normally I don't. So I had that thought of like, maybe I would really like this product. But something about having to use a lip brush, I don't know. I think I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. I see some new releases from NYX Cosmetics. So they are coming out with the new Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. Uh, for sheer lightweight coverage to deliver an all-day matte finish for smoother looking skin coming June on the website. Okay, I actually, I tried this foundation and I didn't love it from NYX. Obviously this is a uh, mattifying powder, so totally different. But it's one of those that it was like, uh, you know, I could like try it. It'll probably be you know, a little bit more on the affordable side, even though NYX, I feel like, has usually been on the higher end for drugstore. But I just, you know, I love my Dior powder. I need to repurchase another one. So I probably, I, I probably would be able to, to pass on that. 
Uh, I do see some more new brand news coming. So say hello to the new Oma by Sharon C, an inclusive sister brand to Oma Beauty, an ingredient conscious, eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free brand that's centered around care. Skincare, self-care, soul care, care for our planet, care for our furry friends, care for all of us. It's gonna have makeup and skincare with affordable prices made with naturally derived ingredients and sustainable packaging. So for the first launch, I see um, a cleansing oil, a water activated cleansing wipes. I mean, it says they're microdegradable wipes. Then we have a serum, a skin perfecting foundation, a lip tint oil and gloss, uh, volumizing mascara will be available June 18th, exclusive to Oma Beauty and also Walmart. Okay, that's interesting. I, I guess I kind of have the same thoughts. Who was talking about this? Was it Jen Loves? Jen Loves? <laughs> I, I always want to say Jen Loves Reviews, but I try to stop myself. Jen Loves. Um, it might have been Jen Loves when she was talking about uh, Makeup Revolution and how they're coming out with like another brand that's supposed to be focused on like the environment and things and I guess something about that tagline just kind of also irks me because it's like if that was a big initiative then why coming out with like a separate line why not just making your you know what I mean? you know what I'm saying so I just I, I like the the thought behind it I think that's great but it does also at the same time it is like a little bit confusing and then with makeup wipes even though it does say that they're you know biodegradable which is great but um yeah, I don't know, interesting, very interesting. I like Oma Beauty, I've tried a handful of products from them, um, and I did like them, but even like the foundation, I guess I'm just, I, I guess I'm just more confused with more brands coming out with more like sub brands, because I'm not sure how I see this is gonna be different from Oma. I can kind of understand it with ColourPop because um, they have ColourPop, which is, you know, their cosmetics, um, and then they have um, Soul Body, which is a lot of like body products and oils and glows. And then they have Fourth Ray Beauty, which is skincare. And so I get it when it's like really separated like that. But like Makeup Revolution and all of their lines, and now this Oma one, I'm just I'm just a little bit curious of how it's supposed to be like very different, or like why they didn't just add on a skincare line under the Oma brand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I like the brand. Um, I don't know if there's anything that I need to try like ASAP, but I'll, I'll definitely be curious to hear, hear some reviews on it. Uh, from Too Faced, I see a new brow product. And this is the Brow Wig for a full, fluffy, filled-in look of naturally lush brows. So there's the Brow Wig, which is a brush-on hair fluffy brow gel and a pomade pencil. All I see right now is coming soon. Okay, I really wanted to talk about this one. I meant to talk about it earlier because I don't love my brows today. And I just feel like I have to explain because there's probably already been like 47 comments that have come in on my brows. So ColourPop sent over their new brow collection, which has like the wax with like the brush and the wax. And then it also has a pencil in there. And I've been trying, this is my third time now trying my brows this way because I want to do that like feathery brow look with like the wax, like the um, soap brows and everything. And I just feel like I'm not getting it. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's like, so I do the wax first because that's what I see people do and I try to like brush them up. But then when I come in with the pencil and try to add in any, any strokes, it just like, I just don't feel like it's working out for me. And I just keep watching more tutorials and I still feel like I'm not picking up what they're putting down. So I don't love my brows today, but I'm like trying new things, okay? Like I'm trying new things. I think other people's brows look really cool when they do it that way. So when ColourPop sent, ColourPop sent those products, I was like, oh yeah, like I'll give this a try. But I'm definitely not getting it. I feel like I'm not getting it. Um, but for, for the Too Faced ones, I don't know, do I have to get it? Probably not. Uh, it's probably gonna be a pass for me. Uh, it's probably gonna be a pass. Uh, let's see what else another new brand that's coming out. This is new beauty brand from Becky G Say hello to Trezluce Beauty in in Mundo de Color Sorry, I'm sure I'm saying things wrong or not getting the accent right but inspired by Latina culture and made for all cruelty free and vegan conscious formulations um, Becky G is giving us a sneak peek will be available on June 25th on the website Okay, so um, I you know don't have a whole lot to go off of yet. There's like a, a photo of her. She has you know eyeshadow on, some dramatic liner, uh, some lips. So um, don't have much to go off of yet. I'm not super familiar with Becky G. I, um, 
I do remember like she did the collab with ColourPop, which was really successful, but a huge congratulations to her for launching a brand because that's such a big deal. So um, yeah, I guess we'll just see like what the products are and if anything happens to catch my eye, but it's another new beauty brand to look out for. So I see a new release from Fenty Beauty. They are coming out with a new lip product. This is the Gloss Bomb Heat and Hot Cherry, a mix of pepper and ginger root that instantly stimulates and plumps for juicy lips, an instant plumping effect, intense wet shine look, and a light peach scent. $22 will be available June, uh, June 24th. So this is a new formula. I don't think this is gonna be for me. I really don't like to feel my lips being plumped up. I just don't like it. That's why I like the Lawless Gloss so much. I've recommended the Lawless Plumping Lip Gloss often on my channel because it gives you that look of plumper lips. You okay? It gives you that look of plumper lips without having to feel those tingles. I'm just not a fan of that. So a mix of pepper and ginger root, I'm just like, I can't. I can't. I know some people actually like really like that feeling, but it is just not for me. So I think this one is going to be a pass. <laughs> and then this is very confusing to me, but I think I mentioned um, in a past video about Kylie Cosmetics going through like a rebrand and, you know, she sold most of her company and there's like a rebrand coming and their Instagram was like shut down. But we have a sneak peek of new products that are coming. This is a matte liquid lipstick plus lip liner. Uh, lightweight smudge resistance, eight hour wear coming soon in July. I mean, this quite literally looks, I, like I'm just, I'm confused, I don't get it. Because it's still Kylie Cosmetics, still by Kylie Jenner, like it says her name on the box. Looks exactly like the original lip kits. Um, like I don't know, did they just, and there's, I see like Candy K, um, which I know, like I had bought that shade. Like, so I'm just, I'm not understanding what's going on here. Like, I don't get the point of them being like, something new is coming, like something's happening on their Instagram, and then it's like the exact same products that they had. I'm not super interested in it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so that's probably just gonna go ahead and be a pass for me. But from Kylie Skin, we have some new products coming out. This is her skincare line. So we have reusable cloth, la la la. We have reusable cloth pads for applying liquid products or removing your masks. In a pack of three sustainable pads made by recycling bottles, complete with a wash bag for easy washing. There's also a rose body lotion and coconut body wash available June 22nd. Cloth pads are available June 22nd. The lotion and body wash available June 28th. Aries is just snoring and living her best life, so we're just gonna let her live her best life. Um, she got to see one of her friends from Iowa over the weekend and she was pumped, let me tell you. My gosh, it's like she thought her friends forgot all about her. So when one of her human friends came over, she was thrilled. <laughs> she, my goodness, she was thrilled. Um, so yeah, she's she's had a very long weekend herself as well. Um, so I like the, the the reusable cloth pads. I try to use like makeup erasers more. Um, I haven't bought like actually like makeup wipes in such a long time so you know that's cute i like that idea i don't know if i absolutely need either of these products they're just kind of like okay i mean the cloth pads are cute but maybe if i like ran out of my makeup erasers or something or needed them but it's interesting you like how it said like to apply masks i like to use some of my brushes for that sigma has skincare brushes and there's one in particular that's kind of like a larger silicone brush and that's pretty much what i use with all my masks and it works out pretty well uh, from speaking of ColourPop's sister brand, Fourth Ray Beauty, they have a new product coming out: the Watermelon Face Polish, made with super fine sugar and poppy seeds to gently exfoliate, while antioxidant-rich watermelon seed oil balances and restores dull complexions. Available June 23rd. This is a big no for me. Um, watermelon does not work well on my skin. I almost always have a reaction to watermelon products. Um, I don't know the face polish. I'm just. I'm not into like face scrubs or like a ton of exfoliation like I once used to be. Uh, I'm definitely someone who used to over exfoliate her skin. I will most definitely raise my hand and admit that. Um, so I really, especially being in the desert now, I really try to focus like hyper hyper on uh, hydration. So definitely not gonna be one for me, but um, that's coming soon. I also see from Morphe, they're coming out with the Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. Not shocked at all to see this 
tinted moisturizer, skin tints there. So in right now. So we have a multitasker with clean skin nourishing ingredients, delivers SPF 30 protection, um, available in 15 shades up for $18 each, will be available July 8th on the website and July 11th at, at uh, Ulta Beauty. If you would want me to try it out, I, I mean, I definitely could because I have been trying out so many new skin tints. I did also just purchase two, one from Glowish, Glowish, Glowful. Why do I always forget that name? The one from Huda Beauty's new line, and then also um, the one from Tarte. So I did just purchase both of those. So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm pretty uh, stocked on my skin tints right now. Um, Morphe isn't one of my favorite brands, but if you'd be really curious to see this, because I have been trying out so many, you know, definitely let me know and I can think about it. <laughs> All right, and then from uh, Bo another one from Bobbi Brown. Why was I thinking this was Givenchy? I don't know. This is also from Bobbi Brown. The Love Radiance Collection. So we have a Lux eyeshadow for $38.70, a highlighting duo for $48.30. These are interesting prices. Um, and there's also a lip tint. Okay. Um, these are cute. I mean, those are single shadows, so that is pretty, pretty pricey. The duos, they just they look pretty. They look luxe. Like I like. I, I don't know. I kind of like the shades in the duo. They look pretty. <laughs> I probably don't need them, but I'm like, hmm. Um, not the biggest range. What's once again, if I'm seeing this correct, we have peach glow and peach pop. So that, I mean, that's not really gonna. Or I guess they're highlighting duos. I was thinking one kind of looks like a blush, maybe, but um, I'm probably gonna be fine to to pass over this. I don't know. It just the packaging is very pretty. Okay. Sometimes I get a little carried away when it comes to packaging, but. Probably I'll be fine. You know, they're powder products. <laughs> so it's like, I'll be fine. We're moving over to Indie Makeup Spotlight. The uh, Tantalia collection with Sydney Grace is now here. So this is, okay, let's see. It's $40 and you get a palette choice. Okay, so I'm going to have some photos on the screen here. So yes, looks like you get to pick the, the palette that you want for $40. So I think this has been talked has been talked about for quite some time. So it is finally here. I really do like Sydney Grace. Their eyeshadows are really, really good. Um, I did get a, actually, I just am put, I'm lit, I'm, this is embarrassing. I'm just putting this together right now. I just got a shipping notification from Sydney Grace over the weekend. Maybe it's this. <laughs> I remember thinking like, oh, I like, I wonder what's going on. And then even when I was screenshotting um, for doing this video and I saw the Sydney Grace and Temptalia, I was like, oh, neat. And then now that I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh yeah, that could be what's coming. So if it is, that would be really, really cool. There's one that has some, oh, actually a few of them have these greens in it. The palettes, at least the, the, the way they're photographed and the way I'm looking, they look kind of like pretty dark, but the... The swatches look really beautiful. Like I said, Sydney Grace has a really, really nice formula. So if that is what's coming, I will definitely be trying them out. Huge congratulations to Temptalia. She has such a great, um, like informative, educational website that I reference time and time again. So huge congratulations. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. All right, and then I think we're just finishing up on hotfire.makeup. So again, these are all gonna be listed down below. And uh, I see some brushes from Sonia G. I don't remember if I've talked about these, but they're available now. This is the Fusion series. These highly requested makeup brushes apply cream and liquid formulas with flawless, never streaky finish. So that definitely has me very interested. So the set's available for $225, which is pretty expensive. I have tried one Sonia G brush. It came in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, and it was actually really, really good. So we have the Soft Concealer is $32, or a Jumbo Concealer for $30. The mini base is 40, classic base is 55, and the jumbo base is 68. So I'm kind of considering grabbing, I just don't need if I, it's like, do I need the full set for 225? Or do I grab like one or two? Ah! <laughs> I've been saying, as I've been getting more and more into cream and liquid products, I've been saying that I don't have a lot of brushes geared specifically towards them, so it's kind of made it a little bit difficult. So I'm like, I need to buy more brushes, and then these are, you know, that's the, the use that they're made for. I'm just trying to decide. Maybe like the mini base and the jumbo base. Let I would. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts, or if you've picked any of them up. I have seen a couple. 
uh, YouTubers post videos on them. So I think I just need to watch those videos first and try to get a better idea of what I should do. But I am definitely curious about them. Just because that's it's something that I've been saying that I need to add to my collection. So that's what has me, you know, pretty curious to try them out. Um, and then lastly, I just see... Um, we are oops one more thing was just posted so two more things to talk about but we now have the full line of the skincare by Hiram's new brand selfless by Hiram um, this is launching online and in stores on 624 so we have the retinol and rainbow algae repair serum for $30 niacinamide and maracuja daily support moisturizer for 26 the mandelic acid and rice brand gentle exfoliating serum for 24 the centella and green tea hydrating gel cleanser is 20 the salicylic acid and sea kelp pore clearing and oil control serum is 24 the product line is vegan cruelty free comes in recyclable recyclable packaging and has the clean and sephora um label to it so i talked about when we first saw the line i mentioned it in a will i buy it video but we didn't have anything to go off of yet we didn't have any products to talk about so i wanted to to obviously wait till we had the full line so i could chat about it a little bit more i was getting comments people are like are you just not talking about hiram's brand i'm like what why would i do that <laughs> like <laughs> i'm so confused and i think there was one product that was launched um, that I think I could have talked about last week, but it said like the full line was going to be releasing soon. So I was like, why not just talk about the full line? Um, so that's what we're doing today. I just, it doesn't make any sense why I would skip it, but okay. Um, because I'm excited about it. And what I said in the first video is that like, I'm excited because I know they like, um, t like he teamed up with the inky list, which I also really enjoy the inky list. So I'm just, I'm just excited about these products. The, the gel cleanser I'm interested in trying. I really like green tea. Um, the salicylic acid, it doesn't love my face so much. It, li it, it likes my body. It doesn't like my face as much. So I'm not sure I would go for that serum. Um, the exfoliating serum. I kind of like the sounds of that one too. Again, I'm trying not to exfoliate too much these days, but also niacinamide, my skin really enjoys that. So I think I would definitely try the moisturizer and then the retinol and rainbow algae repair serum. I'm also pretty curious about that. So I, I think I want to grab maybe like two or three products from the line and test them out. Kind of what I'm thinking. So, oh, this is coming. Did it say it was coming in stores? Oh my gosh, guys, a, a new shop with me at Sephora is coming. Okay. It's coming. And then this was just posted on hotfire.makeup new brand alert. Vanessa Hut but what? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Vanessa Hudgens and Madison Beer created a new skincare brand. Wear no beauty. We are we are now beauty. Am I saying that correctly? Partnership with Chief Medical Officer Dr. Karen Kay to build a smarter way for people to know their skin. It's available now on the website. A more intelligent skincare routine shaped by your DNA and lifestyle factors. No is the first brand. We are no beauty. Okay. No is the first brand to combine your DNA and daily habits to create your ideal routine. Both founders have different skincare journeys, but they share one common goal. Skincare shouldn't be trial and error. That is the ideal world. That is what we're all striving for. I'm pretty sure. So what's available is a skin DNA kit for, for $95. And then we have a purifying cleanser for 24, a calming day moisturizer for 26. There's a night serum, eye cream, oxygen mask, collagen mask, lip mask, cleanser, um, there's an eye creams, moisturizers, night serums, charcoal mask. Okay, so there's quite a bit. I'm really fascinated by this kind of stuff. Uh, I took a food sensitivity test several months ago, and I was just like fascinated by what I learned. I've done like 23andMe for um, like ancestry reports. Fascinating to me. Actually, my brother's girlfriend texted me today and was asking me about the food sensitivity test. And I was like, you should just take it. At, like, it's nice to be informed on certain things. So I'm kind of curious about this. Like, it's, it's interesting to me that it's Vanessa Hudgens and Madison Beer. Like, that caught me up. That's what caught me off guard in the beginning. I was like, wait, what? Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of, like, I kind of want to take it and see what I find out. I swear, these things just... They can just reel, they can just reel me right in, okay? But yeah, it is hard because most times skincare is trial and error. Also, our skin is always changing. It can it can change based on our age and how we take care of our skin. It can change on where we live. It can change on um, our environment and what we do. And if we're smokers, drinkers, if we drink enough water, what our diet looks like. Like it can, oh, are we pregnant? <laughs> like it just, it can change so much. So it definitely is very, I mean, I believe it is trial and error which is also sometimes a bummer because 
sometimes that's not so much fun. But um, I don't know, I'm kind of curious. And you know, of course I'm like, it's a skin deep, like could I do a video about this? What could I, you know, that's like how my brain works, but I'm kind of curious. I might look into that a little bit further. Okay. All right. After that, though, that's going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy video. Thank goodness, because my phone is at 13%, so I'm going to go plug it in now. And uh, let me know what you thought of all these new releases that we chatted about this week. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.